Hey y'all, today we're going to make banana bread, homemade banana bread. This is like one of my favorite foods ever and this is by far my favorite recipe for it. So um, this has been passed down from my mom and my aunt and it's like divine, it's so good. So let's go ahead and go over what you're gonna need. Butter, egg, two ripe bananas. I left these in the, um, what's, it, what's it called, peel. <laughs> I left these in the peel so I wanted because I wanted you to see like how ripe I let them get. Um, the reason you want to let them get ripe is because that's where the most banana flavor comes from. So, which is important in banana bread. Uh, sugar, flour, baking soda, and baking powder, salt, pecans, uh, Pam cooking spray, and some vanilla. So now I will go ahead and show you how to make it. So, gonna. Put the butter. You don't have to use your mixer for this, but I love my mixer and I use it as much as I can. And then the sugar. The butter is at room temperature, by the way. Now we're gonna let this cream together. And I let it mix really well before I move on to the next step. Now that the butter and the sugar has been mixed really well, we're gonna add in our egg on low heat, or low heat, low speed. And we're gonna let this mix for a little while too. I like that to be really well incorporated. Oops. In the meantime, I'm gonna mash up the bananas while we let that mix in. The thing about banana bread is like, if you want to make it, you kind of have to plan for it days in advance um, because you do want to let your bananas get really ripe. And I don't eat bananas that often to just have ripe bananas at my leisure. And now I'm just going to mash it. Bananas are mashed. This is almost perfectly mixed. I'm just gonna add a little splash of vanilla. And once the vanilla gets mixed in, which is perfect, I'm gonna scrape everything and let it mix one more time real quick. It already looks really good. Now the key with the bananas is you want to fold them in. You do not want to mix with the mixer. So take your spatula and to fold it you just mix it like this. And we're gonna just fold it until the bananas are all the way incorporated. Okay, I mixed in the dry ingredients together. Now we're gonna slowly pour it into the batter. It's not going to come out. And we're just gonna let that mix until it's well incorporated. Now I'm going to take my little bread pan and spray it really well, especially the corners. There. My oven has been preheated to 325 degrees. No, 350 degrees. And we're just gonna pour this in there. Now, here is an extra option. You can put pecans or any type of nuts that you want in the actual batter, but in this household, we just like them on the top. So you do have your option there. You can do it either way. Okay. 
Now we're going to put the pecan on top. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. Yes, we have bananas and nuts and just very earth-loving vibe. Thank you. All right, so this is gonna go in the 350 degree oven um, and I will show you what it looks like when we take it out. Okay, so the banana bread has cooled. So whenever I take it out of the oven, I run like a knife around the edges and then I let it cool for like 10 15 minutes then i flip it over onto like um a, you know you do a cutting board or a plate um and then i cover it with a towel and i let it completely cool like that so that way it just doesn't stick to the pan and it's it just works really well like that so now i like to serve mine like i heat it up in the microwave with a little bit of butter on top because i like it warm oh, it smells so good i'm gonna taste that Mm. It's so soft. Y'all have got to try this. It is like perfect. It's so perfect any time of the year. So it's really, um, it's not too banana flavor. It's not too sweet. Um, it's like the perfect combination. So I will put the recipe in the description box below so y'all can try it and be sure to let me know if you try it. Also, be sure to tag me in your uh, pictures so I can see it. So, all right. See ya.